Universal has announced official details for Dark Universe at Epic Universe, the new theme park opening next year in Orlando. New concept art for the land based on Universal Monsters, as well as details for its two rides, dining locations, and more were revealed. Plus, did Universal really double the size of Epic Universe's land? Let's dig into all the official details for Dark Universe and compare the new art to up-to-date construction photos in today's news update. One of the five worlds of Epic Universe, Dark Universe is an original land that will blend characters from the classic Universal Monsters films with new characters and settings. This land is being touted as a first-of-its-kind theme park environment that offers family-friendly fun while also pushing the boundaries on intensity in a way that only Universal could achieve. The portal into Dark Universe features an electrical coil on top, which is said to be harnessing the energy for the village of Darkmoor. This electricity can be seen pulsing throughout the village, leading to the Tower of Frankenstein Manor. Darkmoor was created as a way to tie all of the Universal Monsters stories together in one place, and this location is set within present day. The main ride for Dark Universe is in fact named Monsters Unchained – The Frankenstein Experiment. Universal says this will be their most terrifying attraction yet. Taking place in Frankenstein Manor, we're invited by Dr. Victoria Frankenstein, the great-great-granddaughter of Henry Frankenstein, and she is showing off her newest experiments, an attempt to tame monsters. But when she attempts to tame the most dangerous monster of all, Dracula, chaos erupts, unleashing all of her captured monsters who chase us through the catacombs beneath the manor. While the announcement did not say it explicitly, this attraction will utilize KUKA robotic arm ride vehicles, which will run along a track. A model of one of these ride vehicles can be seen on Gregory Hall's desk in the official announcement video, a model that looks exactly like patent illustrations that we first reported on back in 2021. New official concept art for Monsters Unchained also reveals the ride vehicle, first seen here in the background behind Frankenstein's monster and also seen here, in the foreground of this art depicting Dracula's escape on the ride. Although it appears the final version of the ride vehicle has sanded down those spikes to look more like bolts instead. Today's announcement has confirmed additional story elements for the ride, such as this Frankenstein's monster specifically being Dr. Victoria's version, and not the original monster. Although it is not explained why she too has an assistant named Igor. Other characters confirmed for the ride include the Wolfman, the Mummy, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Brides of Dracula, and Phantom of the Opera. Hunchback has been rumored to appear on the ride as well, but was not mentioned in today's announcement. Universal says that on the ride, the Phantom of the Opera's organ features 14 individual flame points that shoot vertical flames over three feet in the air and dance in synchronicity with the organ music. The minimum height requirement for the ride is 48 inches, which is the same as Harry Potter in The Forbidden Journey. While the ride vehicle seating will be similar to that attraction, as has been rumored for years, our peripheral view will not be blocked on this ride the way that it is on Forbidden Journey. This is because Monsters Unchained will not utilize rotating screen domes, instead opting for larger, more fleshed out scenes, which may incorporate screen media mostly as backgrounds, but will feature actual animatronic figures in front. In fact, today's announcement boasts that Monsters Unchained will have the most technologically advanced animated figures ever built. One section of today's announcement video even features actual clips of the Wolfman figure from this ride, which appears to have incredibly fluid motion. To add to the ride's scariness, its designers say that we will be able to feel things on the ride, like the breath of a monster on our neck. Official descriptions for the attraction say that electricity buzzing around us will make our skin crawl. And one rumored detail that was not confirmed today has said that when Dracula turns into bats, they will fly through our vehicle and that we will feel their wings flapping against us. Along with today's reveal, the augmented reality feature within the Epic Universe Preview Center has been updated to give us a sneak peek into the ride building for Monsters Unchained, The Frankenstein Experiment. In the AR view, we can see the KUKA-style ride vehicle make its way through a room, as the brides seem to escape their coffins. 
Zooming in on the back of the ride vehicle seating, we can spot an Easter egg. What appears to be the words Catacomb Navigation Unit can be seen here. This may help explain why Dr. Victoria Frankenstein just happens to have a strange conveyance system set up below the manor, as it's being repurposed from something else. Looking at recent construction for the manor, we can see new architectural features added to the front. And here is a good look at the manor gate with the name Frankenstein written above it. We can now compare this entry to the way it appears in new official concept art. Looking at the model on display in the preview center, thanks to a close-up photo from Blog Mickey, we can see that this attraction was perhaps temporarily named Monsters Unleashed before becoming Monsters Unchained. The model was originally constructed back in 2019, but it's interesting to see leftover artifacts like this still in place. The second ride for Dark Universe is confirmed to be named Curse of the Werewolf. This spinning roller coaster will have a height requirement of only 40 inches, and Universal is calling it a family coaster, despite the ride featuring a pair of hungry werewolves with glowing eyes. Set within a secluded wagon camp in the woods at the edge of Darkmoor, Curse of the Werewolf is a spinning roller coaster inspired by the Wolfman movie. Guests will enter the encampment of the Guild of the Mystics, where they'll be greeted by Maleva, the Guild's all-knowing seer and leader, who warns them that they bear the mark of the werewolf. Guests then board a wagon and venture into the forest, racing to escape the werewolves before they become one themselves. Rumors say that there will be two werewolf figures within the swing launch section of this ride, one above each of the openings as we pass through. The Maleva character has been reimagined for the ride and will not appear as she did in the original 1941 film. Universal says that this coaster's top speed will be 37 miles per hour and that the ride time will be over two minutes. As we had hoped, the main restaurant for Dark Universe is in fact named Doss Steakhouse. Universal says it's themed as an old inn built over the ruins of ancient catacombs, but is now a dining hall run by vampire familiars who size up unsuspecting patrons to be part of the vampire's feast. The restaurant's dining room will be decorated with artwork and artifacts detailing the history of the village's creatures of the night. Rumors for this location said that the art on the walls would be interpretations of memorable moments from the classic films, as if these were real events that had actually occurred in the village's past, a clever way of tying the films to the land. Das Steakhouse will be a quick service location and will offer a menu featuring kebabs, also known as steaks with steak on them, as well as burgers, sandwiches, and ribs. Initial permits said that it will have 362 seats. The other smaller dining location for the land is in fact named the Burning Blade Tavern. The windmill sitting atop the tavern will erupt into flames every 20 minutes according to the official Universal Orlando blog. We first reported that this windmill could contain fire effects a couple years ago, when gas permits for the location described uses as special effects. Universal says that two types of fuel are used in different ratios, allowing for easy visibility to guests both during the day and at night. The Burning Blade Tavern quick service location will offer a menu of burgers, wings, bratwurst, pretzels, and specialty beverages. Earlier permits said it will feature only 64 seats, but since then we've seen what could be outdoor covered seating being constructed, which may add more capacity. The story for the tavern has it as a hangout for monster hunters, and we may even encounter some roaming about and willing to share their stories and show off their greatest trophies from the monsters they've captured. One last dining location confirmed today is DeLacy's Cottage. This is the small building located just to the left of the main ride. DeLacy's will be a window service location that will offer a variety of snacks and treats like cinnamon bread, ice cream, twisted taters, and more. For retail, Universal did reveal that the main shopping location will be named Pretorius's Scientific Oddities, offering commemorative merchandise and mementos. The main ride's exit gift shop was not mentioned, but has been rumored to be named the Manor Storehouse. Something we did get official details on today was the Darkmoor Monster Makeup Experience. 
Connected to the village's main retail location, Universal says, Monster makers have converted Dr. Pretorius's infamous old lab into a parlor, where guests can change their outer appearances to showcase their fandom for the Universal Monsters. As was suggested by another trademark application, this location will also offer temporary tattoos, in addition to the monster makeover face paint. Meet and greets for the monsters of Dark Universe have been confirmed, with Frankenstein's monster and the Bride of Frankenstein front and center in most marketing materials. However, Universal stresses that you'll be able to encounter more monsters roaming the land as well as original characters. In addition to Frankie and his bride, we have confirmations for meet and greets with Dr. Victoria Frankenstein's servant Igor, the Invisible Man, a courageous monster hunter, and a musician who may regale you with songs about the village. One detail that was not revealed as part of today's announcement is who will be creating the original score for the Dark Universe land in Epic Universe. It has been rumored that Danny Elfman may have been tapped to create this original music that will be played throughout the land and on the rides. Hopefully, this rumored detail could be confirmed by Universal soon. Also not mentioned in today's announcement, but the Dark Universe land does feature what permits refer to as a Phase 2 expansion space. This could later be used to add a third ride to the land. And while we heard rumors for an indoor boat ride based on the creature from the Black Lagoon many years ago, there have not been any rumblings for what could go here lately. And before we wrap up, it is worth mentioning that those news stories you may have seen about how Epic Universe has doubled in size are not true. The areas shown here in red were recently added to Universal's master development plans so that they can be utilized in future projects, but these parcels weren't even purchased recently. In fact, it does not appear that Universal has purchased any new land at all, and their special district has not grown as has also been reported. A permit for these additional parcels to be added to their future development plans is all that has happened, but it's worth keeping in mind that they do own everything shown here. It's not the 2,000 acres that have been erroneously reported, but Universal has already owned about 1,400 acres near the Orange County Convention Center. They already have more than enough space to add another theme park, a water park or entertainment complex, several more hotels, and more all around the Epic Universe site. Plus, with these recent small adjustments to their master plans, it's possible this indicates that they may be gearing up to build something along Universal Boulevard next. We'll just have to wait and see. That's going to wrap it up for this update, but a huge thank you to BioReconstruct for the amazing aerial photographs. You can follow him on social media for more theme park photos. Be sure to leave a like on this video and comment if you're enjoying our coverage of the new park. And make sure you're subscribed to never miss an update. For even more information, as well as behind the scenes posts, your name in the credits, and more, consider joining our Patreon to support what we do. Patreon.com slash theme park stop. Thanks for watching. See you next time.